tactics versus strategy. So which one are you really using? And you know, why does this even matter? So I find that the difference between tactics and strategy is something that um, so many people really struggle to grasp and even really experienced business owners, um, executives, people who've done MBAs, you know, the works. They're, when we get down to business um, tactics and strategy, especially marketing, most people confuse marketing tactics for strategy. So let's start off with what is the difference? Tac marketing tactics, when we're talking about marketing, is all this, the stuff that you can see, the things that you see people doing. And this is why it gets so confusing because we see people doing social media and you have a social media strategy. You see people doing advertising and they have an advertising strategy. You see people doing um, email, doing SEO, doing all of those things, um, blogging, all of them. They all are tactics. And yes, they all have their own unique strategies that help you to maximize that activity, help you to get the most out of it. But that is not your marketing strategy or not your core business strategy. So today I really wanted to explain to you the difference and what a foundational marketing strategy really is. So for your business, your foundational marketing strategy is basically what underpins your entire business. It is your go-to market. Um, by that, these are all buzzwords and you know, definitely industry jargon, but what that means is, what is it that your business is selling? What is it that you do? Who are you selling it to? How are you selling it? So, you know, what is the actual offer that you're making? Not just the service, but how are you actually going to sell that offer? Because you can have a service um, and you can package it and price it in so many different ways. Some may be much more successful than others. So the way that you package and price your service has a massive impact on the level of your success. Likewise, your targeting. Um, your niche positioning, your brand, your messaging, all of those things. So when I talk about strategy, this is what I'm talking about, your foundational strategy that is really underpinning your entire business. It's not a campaign, it's not an activity, it's not an event, it's not something that you turn on or off. It is what your entire business is doing. And when you go to change that strategy, it's like turning the ship. You're gonna turn it into a whole different direction. So this is something that is really important to get right. And if you're doing tactics without that strategy underpinning it, it's kind of like flying an airplane blindfolded. You know, yeah, you might be up in the air, you might be trying things, but you don't know where you're going. You're potentially going around in circles can't see the destination and you're not sure if all the things that you're doing are really tying in together to get you there. Um, so when we have that strategy underpinning us, which is much more at that core business level, your foundational strategy is really how is your business going to market? What are you putting out there? What's your positioning? Um, how are you selling it? What are you selling? How are you pricing it? All of those things. That is your strategy. And then your tactics are what you use to make it happen. So your tactics are actually the activities that help you to achieve what you set out in your strategy. They help you to reach that target audience. They help you to um, you know, offer them your service at that price and to sell it and convert them. That's all what you use your tactics for. And you know the, the best thing is that once you're really clear on your strategy, the tactics that you should use are much, much easier to figure out. And it's so much easier to have them nicely aligned and combined so that there's consistency. They're all working together towards the same goal. So that's why it's so important to understand the difference. And I find that many people jump over the strategy and go straight for the tactics because it's what we see other people doing. You know, it's the fun stuff, it's what we see other businesses. And we might look at a successful business and see what are they doing? I wanna be like them. Um, and so we we'll copy their tactics. But their tactics are designed to get them to their results, their end strategy. Um, they're not designed for your business. So you really need to work on your own strategy 
um, in order for your tactics to work. And that's really the crux of what I teach in my Business Jam program and also for my coaching clients one-to-one. -one. In my um, strategic business marketing framework, we go through this foundational strategy and set it in place and then work out what are the right tactics for this strategy. How are we actually going to deliver this and make it happen? Um, and you know what? It just makes life so much easier when you do that work up front. It's hard, yes, there's lots of thinking involved. Um, there's all these pieces that you need to fit together to get them into alignment so that they're all reaching for that same goal. But the great thing is that when you have done the work, it becomes so much easier to get the result. And the tactics, no matter which ones you choose, the ones that are right for you, they will work because the strategy is there underneath that is driving them towards the goal. So really, that was all I had to say today. I just wanted to clear up one of those massive misconceptions out there um, in, in the business world as to what the difference is with tactics and strategy and make sure that you understand what it is and whether you're actually doing both. You should be doing both. You definitely need the strategy first before you um, start implementing those tactics. And good luck with that. Obviously, reach out to me with any questions. I'm more than happy to message you um, if you send me a DM. Okay, see you. Bye.